73. I charged my battery up a little bit so I can get back to... I don't know how many parts I'm going to do this on. Anyways, remove the bottom. Remove the bottom. Bottom's here. Move the tapers. I had I tapered pieces in here. I taper it down. So now I have taken. Uh, maybe I'll run to Harbor Freight tomorrow and see exactly how much of a taper they do it. But he wants it tapered this way and this way. So I want to put this board here and taper it. He probably wants probably something like that, I guess. Not much of a taper do it. I don't know how much I'm going to, how I'm going to judge that. I'm going to have to take my little tool that I won't be able to find one I want to show you. Oh, there it is. I have to take this with me so I can figure it out really my son must use this as a pry bar or something or other but I haven't used it since then yeah, it looks like he's bent the end of it using it for a pry bar everybody has one of those don't they Where you know, like that to here, and that to there. See what kind of taper he has. Same thing here. And, um, taper thing, thingy, I call it. Sliding tea bubble. Everybody's got a sliding TV bowl. So anyways. That is it. I've got to sharpen. I have to straighten up my sliding bent bubble. Alright. I have to take that with me and figure out exactly what kind of angle we got going on here. That's pretty good there. Problem is, this angle could be this, and this angle could be a different one. So, I have to get bring my uh, little. Uh, I have to bring this little baby. It's a <laughs> compass thingy. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's uh, pretty old. How did I get it? I don't know. Some older dude that I knew. That's like, that's like 40 degrees there, and uh, 40 degrees all the way around. So anyways, this is, uh, yeah, read it.
like a compass thing it says compass something other something other anyways that's where we're at guys I'll give you an update on it okay you can't even see it read it out. can you make it out yeah I guess you can that's what it is pretty nice tool I like it because somebody went through their stuff relatives or friends or whatever went through their stuff and they said whatever you want to take as long as you use it don't throw it away you can have it I ended up with this little car that was so rusty then but I could but I was living in a renting a house downstate Royal, Royal Oak area and for like a little Peugeot or something some foreign car it was so rusty that uh, I ended up taking it to the junkyard. My wife wanted me to take it to the junkyard. She says, you can't leave that at the place we're renting. So why not? Oh, they don't like that stuff laying or sitting around here. So well, I'll just cover it up. Yeah, well, they know then, then skunks and jad ja la la poo -po, all that stuff gets in there. I'm like, yeah, well, that's the story. Peace. See you around.